I think the one myth is the classic like crisis communications of, oh, it was the sophisticated nation state actor and blah, blah, blah. We're far enough into this, guys. It's time to call it. 90% of these breaches shouldn't have occurred. Your security posture sucked. You didn't yeah. invest in the things you needed to. And, and I do think there's a necessary shift. I don't know what, you know, CISA is going to become in the next go round here, although I I really do like who they've uh, nominated uh, as CISA director. But, you know, up to this point, CISA was about uh, kind of spreading the warm hug around organizations, right? Yep. There is a point here where there's a motion of like, you know, I don't necessarily have to get all regulatory on this, but like, you got to up your game. I mean, having robust cybersecurity protections is kind of like having fire alarms and smoke detectors in your building. Yep. This is kind of basic hygiene. There are some industries in particular, healthcare being a good example, where... Sure. You just look around, it's like, okay, at some point, this is negligence and incompetence. If if you can't pass a basic NIST, you know, security audit, I don't know how you justify that anymore.